Sharing and collaborating on a Google Doc is a very powerful tool and very easy to use. Once you've created the doc, you simply click on the share button. And here's the interface that you will get. Share with others and you can type in the names if they are in your address book and it will come up with your email addresses. Or you can type in a full email address if you want to. By default, a person will be able to edit it, which means they can come in and they can make whatever changes they want. They also can comment on the doc as well if they can edit. You can change their options by clicking on the little menu icon and you can allow a person just to comment, which means they can see the document and they can comment on it, but they cannot actually edit inside the document. Or you can make it so they can just view the document, which means they can see the document, but they cannot comment on it and they can edit, on, edit it. By default, it will notify the person via email. And that's what this little box is with the check mark. If for some reason you don't want to notify them, you can just uncheck the box and the document will be shared with them and it will appear under their shared with me. Or if you're in the new Google Drive, they call it incoming. So old Google Drive, classic Google Drive, shared with me, new Google Drive, incoming. If you give people an email, you can also add a note that will come along with the email message. And the email message they get says, such and such person, so for example, Joel Warsh has shared such and such document with you. And a link where they can click on it and get to the document. If you want to give them some directions like, please proofread this for me, you can type that in and simply click send. And then that person will get an email with this message and a link to the document. If you're not, don't want to invite individual people, like just say you want to get a link to post on a website or a link to send it, put in your newsletter or a link to send to parents and you don't have a group and you don't want to type anyone in, you can click on get a shareable link so you'll be able to share your document, view a link. So here's this big long link and you can click copy link and then you can paste the link wherever you want and people will be able to access it. But there are separate rights to sharing a link. Now by default, if you're in a school domain and I'm in the Adams 12 domain, it'll be people at Adams 12 can view. So it's not the whole world. So if it's, you're sending it to parents and they're obviously not in your school domain, you're not going to want to use this. So you can change, the, have different choices by saying people in Adams 12 can comment. So that's with, if you're in a domain, people with can edit, which means they can edit, comment, and view. But if you're not in a school domain or you want to share with people that are not in your school domain, if you click on more, you see all the link sharing choices that you have. On means anybody on the web can find it and no access required. On anyone with the link so that if you send someone with the link, they have access to it. And then here are the ones for your school domain if you have a school account. Or if you just want it with specific people, you can turn it off and then it's just shared with those specific people. But if you're sharing it through the link, another thing besides deciding who you want to have access to it with the link, make sure you check down here and you give the people the access you want them to have. If they can edit it, remember, they can type all over your document. If they can comment, that means they can see the document and just make comments but not edit. And if they can view, they can only see the document. So. That's your choice. You have to decide. So make sure you are very careful and see that you have the sharing features that you want and what access that they have. When you have this taken care of, you can click Save. If you would like to see all the different features at one time, you can click on a button called Advanced. And Advanced will take you to a screen that shows you everything. Shows you the link, 
shows you anyone can view and you can change it from in here, takes you back to that link sharing. You can add people here. And just make sure once you have this that if you're adding people, you're going to end up hitting send. And no matter what, whether you're just adding people or you're giving them visibility through the link that you click done. Because if you don't click done, it's not going to stay. Now let's get to the commenting part, which is awesome, the collaboration features. Right up here you have the comment button. So you can type something in, or you have a big giant document that has something. You can click next to the word you want and go to insert and put in comment. And you can make a comment, whatever you want to say. Check your spelling and hit comment. So anyone in the document that you've shared with it that can comment or can edit can respond to your comments. So this is great for peer editing. Awesome for peer editing. You also can highlight a word or a phrase or a whole paragraph and go to insert comment and type in your comment and make sure you click on comment when you're done to save the comment. And notice it highlights the whole world. That, and the comment is put in line with the whole sentence that you highlighted. Another way to add comments is through the comments button up here. And this will also show you all the comments in the doc. And you can reply to comments through here if you want. And hit reply. You can also add a comment through here. So besides insert comment, you can go to comments and add a comment as well. And once again, where my cursor is, is where the comments go. Another thing about this comments button is notifications. You will get a notification when anybody puts a comment in this doc, and that means you'll get an email. Now maybe you don't want that because it'll fill up your email box. You can either do replies to you because I would leave it on replies to you because you want to know if you put in a comment if someone replied to it. Or if you don't care, you can go to none. So once again, the notifications are your settings for what emails you're going to get in relationship to this document only. So all means anytime somebody puts a comment, it even says every new comment will be emailed to you. You might not want that. Maybe you do depending on what you're doing. Maybe you want that if you're having a document that's shared with you, the kids are peer editing, so you make sure you can see their comments. The next one, replies, sorry about that. Replies means only the activities that involve you, so only the things that you put comments on and replies will be or none. So that's the commenting feature. Just remember, click your cursor, highlight what you want to comment, go to insert, comment or to comments. You also can reply to your comments yourself and once a comment is done and you want to get them out of the way because the situation has been resolved, you can simply hit resolve and the comment goes away. But if you want to see it, you can still go up to comments and it will show you all the comments even if the ones have been resolved. So no one can make a comment disappear. So kids can't make comments disappear. You can always see them and even reopen them.